Hey again, YouTube. Today I've got a little bit more of a fun, indulgent sort of video, and I wanted to talk about all the things that I got from Olight's most recent 16th anniversary sale. And so in front of me, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine new flashlights. And I got these for all about under maybe like 120 or so. And I wanted to share how I went about going through that process and a little bit more of a money saving tip type of video. And of course, as you can probably tell, a lot of these are kind of have some overlap and it's a little bit more of a want than a need type of situation, especially when you're buying multiples of flashlights or different colorways and all that. But I did want to take a look at Olight's new colorways and their anniversary limited edition ones that they weren't going to be selling anymore. And so what I did here to maximize my um, expenditure was that I, full disclosure, and I don't know if this is going to, you know, make it a little bit harder for other people, but I'm trying to put y'all on, is I'm a, I usually have two accounts. And so, you know, two accounts to spin their little prize wheel that they have and, you know, take advantage of the free, it, I, I put air quotes on the free because it's not always free. Uh, flashlights that they give in their sales and they do typically have them pretty often but uh, in this one sale I think to get around that I think they're aware of that that people have multiple accounts they had this flashlight which was their i16 which is really just a reskin of their um what's this one the ir2 pro it has the same lumen output at 180 same runtime, same beam distance and all that. And it's the same little package. Though this one actually has a little bit better knurling, the uh, IR2, than this one. But they did try to just go for a little bit more of a little anniversary type of theme with it. It's got their branding emblazoned all across it. And it's, it's, it's not as pretty as this one, I feel like. But it's a different look. You know, they're trying to go for a little anodized aluminum type of look and that was the free one that they were giving out but to circumvent the problem because these are kind of more desired flashlights i think these retail about like 20 something 20 ish at least on their website they were giving away these ones instead and the way that they went about choosing who gets what is that they had a if you spent over five dollars previously on that account they would give you this one and if you hadn't it would be this one and so i've had my second account for like well over a year now and i'm like oh wow i spent more than five dollars i look at it and i'm like actually it's just me cashing in on the uh the <laughs> free flashlights I, again i call them free because you do have to pay the five dollar shipping but the um the total when you put it in your cart is zero and then when there is shipping it comes out to five so that's their way of getting around that i suppose Pardon the sniffling, these allergies are kind of kicking my butt around this time of year. And one of the things that I did with the two accounts I utilized is that they also typically have a sort of, uh, you spend this amount of money and then you get this free tier gift. And so I didn't make that tier gift with the items that I had. I didn't want to spend a little bit extra more money. So what I did instead was I utilized their free shipping on orders over $60.00. Or it's forty nine. It's either forty nine or fifty nine. You feel free to correct me in the comments. And I did that on one account, and I did my other basket on my other account. So that way, I got free shipping on both accounts, and I was able to get two different of their free flashlights. Another thing that I do is I'll go on their all products tab, and I'll go into sort from price lowest to highest. And also, I don't know if this is an intended thing. For Olight that they do and you know hopefully they don't stop doing this after I release this video or anything but they sometimes will have things for zero dollars and I'll add these things to the carts I'll typically do that on both accounts too just to maximize you know what I can get out of it but I forgot to do it this time around I only got the one but this is the um, x9r cell battery and so this is for their one really specific flashlight let me see if I can grab it out real quick it's their like very, very tiny model that takes a very specific battery and 
I don't think I have it out. Oh, I do right here. And see, it's this very, very, very tiny flashlight, way smaller than this one actually. But that's because this one actually takes a AAA. This one takes their specific proprietary battery. And that's probably why they gave these away for free. Since I don't believe they sell these anymore, they had given them away, I think only once prior, and that's when I hopped on this and I got it. And as you can see in the bag, I did have a few extra batteries. This is a three volt battery. You know, this one goes into the some of the weapon lights. And for one of the accounts, I got their bundle package uh, for their anniversary limited edition drops on their specific anniversaries, you know, theme and whatnot. So I thought they were pretty cool. Like I, I this one probably was a uh, one of the more premium ones for what you're getting, but I think that's what they're going for. It's um the same as the free one that they gave out for orders over five dollars. Except this one is in brass. And so I know that's a high selling point for a lot of people. This is probably a very sought after type of uh, flashlight. But for me, when I got it, or when I even looked at it, it came with the bundle. I didn't really particularly like it. Look at, look at how that shine under the camera. I wasn't really particularly a big fan of it just because unlike this one where the branding is a little bit more subtle. It's kind of just recessed. This one's kind of all up in your face. Kind of Chipotle bag style. Kind of ugly in my opinion, like especially, you know, maybe the O and the O light might look alright, but the I-16, kind of ugly. It looked like a little cigarette butt in my opinion, but you know, not going to knock what other people like. But I also came with these two, which were the main thing for me. I would have gotten this one just by itself because it was only like $20, but it had sold out real quick. So I was, you know, not trying to miss it. My girlfriend saw it and she immediately was like, that is super cute. So it is this one right here. It's the i3T in their donut color. And, you know, it's standard i3T, but it is a pink, as you can see. Also the anodized aluminum shell. And what's really cool here is these little, these little divots here for the sprinkles. They're all recessed and filled in and colored in. Like, they're not just painted on or whatever. So that's not going to scratch off or nothing. So that's really cool. Very unique, very cute, very personable. I like that a lot. And I actually don't have uh, an i3T in my collection. And I know it's a very popular flashlight. It's a lot of people's pick for, you know, most powerful favorite pocket carry for AAA flashlights. And I know, for example, this one is also a AAA flashlight. But as you can see, it's much smaller. If you look at the uh, lumen specs on either one of these... The i3T actually has twice the lumen count as this one, though they do accept the same battery. And it's nice for different things. As you can see, this one's a little keychain one. This one's meant to be, you know, thrown onto a keychain. I think it's only got the one out. I think it should have two outputs. It's only outputting the one. But this is a nice, this is a nice little stocking stuffer, you know. I actually have these ones, full disclaimer. These ones are not open. These ones are the ones that I got. And, you know, these are good stocking stuffers. You can give them as gifts. I'm not so afraid to lose them since I've got so many of them. And, you know, I don't really value them as so much as, you know, something like this. So, this is nice to throw on a keychain. I would say this is nice to throw into a pocket. This has a, you know, it's dedicated pocket clip, reverse tail switch, the multiple outputs. And it's very bright. For this tiny little thing. That's super cool. I'm glad to keep this one. This one's going to be going to my girlfriend. And that also with the bundle. It came with the i5R EOS. Also in their anniversary edition color. They call this their royal blue. But as you can see. If that one was supposed to be like a little birthday sprinkle. They call it donut. But I don't really see donut. They maybe like a little Homer Simpson type of style donut. Um. This one, for the keen-eyed people, you might be able to recognize it's kind of reminiscent of a birthday candle with the spiral. Super deep blue, very regal looking. I like this one a lot. Same deal as your regular i5T or i5R EOS, I suppose, but this one with the rechargeable battery that this one comes with. Two outputs. But as opposed to the old design where it would kind of have a soft incoming, this one comes straight into the uh the high from the low which i like a lot more and moving on i have the the same flashlight but it's not quite the same 
So on my other account, I did get another bundle. I got the mystery pack, which could have either came with this one, the i5R EOS high CRI. And so to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, once again, I thought high CRI was meant to display a, a sharper, harsher type of color, like a white. But this one actually is lighter than the standard i5R. And if you look at the lumen count, it's actually less by a good amount. And I thought, no way, because I looked at these two, the i3Ts, which they do say the lumen counts are the same on these ones. They are the same from my knowledge, from what I can tell. But these two, so this one's the high CR I want on low. This is the i5R, <coughs> excuse me, on low. Much brighter, much more of a cool white, much more of a neutral white. And on high, much brighter once again. So interesting, they take the same battery, but this is the high CR one. It's going to be, you know, different flashlights for different things. But I'm happy that I got this one. This It was between the, it was this flashlight and this, I believe. It was the i3T Pro, which is the long one in ancient bamboo. I'm actually going to grab the one out. This one right here, I'm glad I didn't get it again because this is the one that I did have. I'm not a big fan of this one. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people were. This is the soft incoming from the low to the high that I was talking about, which I'm not a big fan of. But, you know, again, I'm sure this was a very sought after flashlight. It just came in a bundle one time when I got it. And I'm not a big fan of it. I'm glad I didn't get it again. The other two in the bundle would have been the i3T in a carbon fiber, which also would have been really cool. Would have been a nice little gift to my brother. He's a big fan of his carbon fiber. Or it would have been another i3T in pinwheel blue. It would have been another one of these. And it would have been one of the i-minis. The, I don't have it on hand, but it's the small red one that you pull it out, automatically turns on, that they were giving away that one time. And I did want to get my hands on another one of those because on their website, they retail it for about like $10. Not trying to pay $10 for that little thing. But otherwise, still pretty happy with the one I got. Just happy that it's not this one. And for the last flashlight on the table, I got the Perrin Mini 2. Also another big favorite of Olight from a lot of people that I had never gotten before. And so this one, actually, they market as a headlamp. And so it comes with the little headlamp strap and all that, you know, their branding and all whatnot. And they have their clip, which goes onto the headlight. And so I thought this was really interesting because I have one other headlamp, and that's the one um, Sophirin offers. And so as you can see, the headlamp is structured pretty differently. So for one, it's got that dumb third strap that goes over the top of your head you know it's gonna mess up your hair and whatnot and two the strap itself is built into the clip i suppose rather than being attachable and detachable and that's not my favorite design because what if i wanted to put it on something else or what if i wanted to mount this a different place like i could put it on my backpack strap or I'm on molly webbing and whatnot this is a lot more accessible than this is, for example. And so this is the Sophirin one, just for size comparison. The Perrin Mini is twice as small as this one is. Which, of course, this is the Mini. I'm, I had, I've never held the Perrin not Mini in my hands, but I would imagine it's about the same size as this one. But just going on your head, I would imagine something like this, which takes a full 18500 battery, I believe, it's got some weight to it. And that's going to go onto your forehead. And that goes on with this. It's a little bit cumbersome. It's got like these rubber things. For example purposes, I'm not going to put the whole thing on just because I have this pocket clip on and it's pretty hard to remove. But this is supposed to go on like that. It's supposed to slide all the way in. And even then, it will seat at a kind of weird position. But great flashlight. I like the flashlight for what it is. It's, you know, got all the features that I'd want on it. You know, turbo from from closed, strobe from closed. Probably should have put a warning there, but that's the Sofirin one. 
the Olight, the parent, has a similar type of from low to high, a little soft transition. Which, for this, I like, because I'm not going to be using this tactically and whatnot. You know, probably I wouldn't be using these tactically either. But this, this small one is a lot more purpose-built, I feel like, for going onto the rim of your shirt, going across a pocket. Because unlike these, that point straight down, I can have these hands free and use them for a whole lot of purposes. So I'm pretty excited to add this into a kit. You know, I could have this on the outside of my backpack. And see, so I'm just going to show why I think the clip is way, way more desirable on this one. They have a, a dedicated slot right here for the pocket clip to slide into as opposed to the Sofirin model. So this one goes into there. It kind of seats nicely. There's a little spot where it'll stop sliding. And you take this strap, slide it right over, and it seats right into there. Boom. Hands-free, light, you know, they're turbo. They've got a three modes you know their turbo and then they've also got their moonlight which is just a little you know barely any light and they've also got a how do i get to this a red light and so this is supposed to be i would imagine more of like a nighttime thing when you are having it head mount headlamp mounted and see, this is a much lighter thing. I would not mind having this on my forehead, walking around. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with my haul overall. Did I need nine new Olights? Not really. Am I happy to add them to my collection? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because the thing is with Olight, I, will, I, I cannot lie. Their marketing is spectacular. They have, I, I would say innovation-wise, not too many things going for them. I would say the last thing was probably the Arkfeld, which I, I do think was a pretty cool design. But in terms of like new designs, it's typically just little variants of their old things. Like I said, you know, they've got the I IR2 and they just kind of reskin them. The uh the old i5T, you know, they just reskinned it into the rechargeable battery. And but they do have colorways for everybody, which is very cool. You know, it's very gift friendly. You can give it to people who aren't so into flashlights, but they like to color coordinate and all that. And it's very cool seeing the different colorways they come out with. And I just had to hop onto it for this sale. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed watching with the thumbs up and whatnot. And thanks for watching, you guys. Catch you guys next time.